today I want to talk to you about Web Components. So Web Component is a piece of reusable UI. It's enabled by web standards. It's uh, built into the web platform. It's provided to you for free by web browsers. And the, really the benefit here is you have the potential to initialize your components faster and run with less library overhead, which is great. And just to kind of convince you that Web Components are a thing that you should care about, I'm going to show you some examples. Really the bread and butter of Web Components right now is design systems. People love the portability of Web Components. They love that they're built into the platform. And that's really where the most examples you'll see of them are in the wild. Microsoft built MSN Web Components. VMware has a nice design system. Google has material design, which exports to Web Components. Components. IBM has one, Salesforce. My personal favorite, NordHealth, built with 11D. Uh, is a really good example of that. GitHub uses Web Components. Adobe actually brought Photoshop to the web with Web Components using Lit, which I think is great. And that's using Spectrum Web Components, which is a wrapper around Lit. So our Web Components are thing. Look at all these logos, 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 logos. We love logos. They convince us that things are good. If you go out to Google Chrome's web statistics, they have, as of April of this year, measured that 18, almost 19% of page loads in the Google Chrome web browser are of properties using Web Components. That's convinced you all that they are good and should be used because they're popular, right?